Hi everyone, I'm Viola from 3D Render and Beyond. Today I want to share a quick video created by Stefano to show how we can use the Take system together with Cinema 4D Render Queue to render all views with different lighting setups and different VFB settings. Please notice that in this video I will not show you how to create takes because there are already hundreds of videos where you can learn about this and it's actually very easy. If you look at our scene, we have several lighting setups for day and night and several cameras. Now we want to set our VFB corrections, so let's do a quick test render. Here, for example, I want to increase the exposure a bit, add some highlight compression, I use my favorite LUT, which is the Kim Amlan Photographic Linear LUT. Once you're satisfied with the look of your image, you can save your VFB correction file from here. Now you can do the same for all cameras. As said in the beginning of this video, here I've already set up the take system so that each camera has its specific light setup and render setting. So when I choose my take, I already have the correct camera, light and render setting with the correct image ratio, etc. For this tutorial, I'm using a very short render time, like one minute, just to avoid wasting time on the render process. For our purpose, it's important to disable Apply VFB Compositing and Color Corrections, and to select V-Ray Output System so that the Cinema 4D Render Queue will save the render from V-Ray and not from the Cinema 4D system. Of course, you will need to select a saving path and choose VR Image Format in order to apply the VFB effects later. Do a separate render setting for each camera. Here I've already assigned a different setting for every take and you're ready to add your scene to the render queue. Load the same scene as many times as you need. In my case I have five cameras to render, so five times. Select the take and it will automatically choose the right camera, light and render setting. Let's start the render process from here. I'll speed up the video a bit. And now we have our final renders. Now we just need to apply the VFB corrections, so let's load the saved image. Select the VFBL correction file previously saved. When needed, choose your LUT file. And save your image in your favorite format. Please notice that if your images have the same corrections, you can automate this process using the VFB Batch Processing Tool. And here are the final results. Of course, these images have rendered for a bit longer, and I've already applied some minor corrections inside Photoshop Camera Raw. Don't forget that this and other scenes are available in our shop at 3dtutorialandbeyond.com. Come visit us and you can download free shaders, see all our products and V-Ray courses including one-to-one -one coaching. Thanks for watching.